So I went out this morning. We're still talking the last day of 2025. Um, and I know there's new rules starting on January the 1st in the UK. America, I presume the rules are the same there. I don't know. Guys, you have to let me know about what's changing. I know, obviously, we've got this ban thing going on at the moment in America. And you've got the customs problem. But I'm not really sure about have you got any new drone rules coming in? Now, as far as I know, in Spain, Spain's still the same, still pretty strict here. You have to make sure you get that Spanish app, the Enoir app, which I put there. But this morning was interesting, which I'm just about to show you in a moment. I'm going to show you it now. The five pros just on. So what we do now, we connect to the aircraft we then see the Mini 5 Pro. Okay, we try it this way. Do the beeps. Press it for four seconds. Okay. So. Home point updated. I don't know if you're going to see that on the screen. We've got to have off. Okay, I've got remote ID error. It's all okay to take off. Okay, why well, is it saying remote ID? I got that remote ID come up again. Um, interesting. So it's to see it's not gonna it's not gonna let it take off. No. And if I press on it. It tells me that's interesting because I I went through all the controllers yesterday and I never had this problem at all. Now for some reason it's doing it. So I would say that's probably a, a bug that DJI will need to sort out because they haven't enforced that yet. I know in some areas, I think in the US they have. Uh, so what I need to do is turn it all off. We turn the drone off. Let's put the drone back on. We put on the controller. I'm permitted to take off now. So interesting. Is that going to happen on the other controller? But anyway, no. that's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Remote ID. <laughs> I know I've been hearing about it, and I've noticed when I used to turn on my drone, it would come up very quickly, and then it would disappear. But this morning, it didn't disappear. But it was only doing it, I noticed, if you reconnected your drone. So if, say I was flying the Mini 4 Pro today, I then changed over to the 5, remote ID popped up. Now it didn't happen with the RC Pro 2 controller. Yeah, so I had to think then because oh, there's oh, so many different names now and people say, oh, you said it wrong, Sean. I don't care really, but yeah, on the RC Pro 2 controller, I had no problem. But on the other two, the RCN3 and the RC2, if, once I changed it over, remote ID come up and it wouldn't take off because it's, you've got to go online. But you can override that because as far as I know, that rule hasn't come in yet. I think in the UK, this is probably where China's got... Um, I was going to say buggered. Yeah, I've said it now, haven't I? Because obviously there were some videos going up already saying, oh, you, as from tomorrow, you've got a remote ID. But as far as I know, that remote ID doesn't start until 2028, which is two, two years away. And I can only presume DJI has jumped the gun because obviously they've got their New Year's thing coming up soon. And that's probably why there's been some delays on the new products that are coming out. I don't know. But the way to get around it is to shut everything down. Once you, yeah, once you connected the drone, shut it all down, reopen it, and it's gone. But it'd be great to hear if any of you guys out have, have noticed that. Because I can't believe it. it's just me again, surely. And DJI, <laughs> I think you need to sort that problem. Because that's going to, for the new, new drone flyers, they're going to be, I can't fly on your drone. I've just paid out a fortune. I can't fly. You, you can, guys. 
but you have to go through that process. But I'm sure there's going to be an update on that. Or they're just going to do something, as they always seem to do on the controllers. They do something. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. But anyway, I just thought I'd put this video up. But it'd be great to hear the feedback on that. If you had any problems, but it only happens when you change from one drone to another. I even tried out my... Um, <laughs> I haven't tried out my FPV drones yet. But this only happened today. I did it the other day, no problem. So maybe it's a new... Anyway... Let me know, because DJI do watch. Even a poxy little channel like me, they do watch me. <laughs> but as always, there's going to be another video coming right sooner.